what's happening cucumber squad right man so tribal calls easy mill so many people have asked me for this it's featuring mfn uh, naki um somebody actually sent me this link and said there's a lot of uh, filipino so uh, tagalog uh, in this um um particular song so he said I'd rather do the lyric video because the majority of the song is actually in um i hope i'm saying it right tagalog in Filipino so um, yeah so we're doing this particular one but I am leaving the link to the actual original one down in the description as well and then you guys need to go and subscribe to Easy Mills Show I'm sick and tired of saying this just fucking do it already just go and subscribe to the man right and then I'm leaving the link to his um, uh, digital concert tickets down in the pinned comment as you guys know he's having a concert on the 17th and 18th of april and the link in the in the pinned comment is where you can buy the tickets somebody asked me yesterday where can you buy the tickets links in the pinned comment click on there it'll take you directly to the site where you can purchase the tickets and game over you can buy his tickets so yeah man travel calls easy mill this is the lyric one because apparently there's a lot of filipino in this so let's rock and roll man let's see what we got Filipino, Filipino um, colors here yeah, and sun. Hey. I love those type of tribal beats. They're flipping fire, man. It be a me of a prodigy legend in the making. I'm the truth that hits you from thinking with your summation. Mm, I'm the epitome of the prodigy legend in the making. I'm the truth that hits you from the th from you thinking that we're just some Asians, right? I'm the truth. I'm the one that's gonna flip the stereotype. I'm the one that's gonna sit there and say, you think that we're just some Asians? Watch this. Watch this, motherfuckers. We're not just some Asians, man. You know what I mean? We're different. We stand out. We stand out. This guy just literally represents his fucking country. And like he said, he just holds the weight of his of, of his whole country on his shoulders. You know what I mean? And I love that. I love that he actually always brings that proud uh, Pinoy uh, um, um, culture and patriotism into his music, man. You can just see the guy's got so much soul and so much heart, man. Let's go, man. Let the brown skin of my people turn in the brain. We in last of all put up a kiss to a let the brown skin of my people drill into your brain, right? Realize the war now. Very clever. Let the brown skin of my people drill. Drill in terms of like when you actually enslave people and what you made people do with regards to farms and other industries. You made them drill for you. Now my people are drilling into your brain now. You know what I mean? Realizing the war will put up against your enslavement. That was the very next line, which is basically flipping the enslavement. Saying we're going to drill into your fucking minds as opposed to you drilling into our minds through your enslavement. Very fucking clever. He's very good at flipping those kind of lyrics like that because he flips them. Uh, very very cleverly you know what I mean so he doesn't just he's he, he will always use the first line to lead you in he's almost like a lawyer he leads you into something via a statement and then he flips it on the next line which I think is super cool transition into the mental conditioning through the devices we drown ourselves like it's a religion right so he's literally saying the devices that you currently fucking use these ones that you use like a religion right even if we use those devices on you we literally flip that on you and basically saying even if we mentally condition you by putting this shit out on your devices like he's doing now he's putting his music on your devices he's putting his artistry he's putting his words he's actually speaking out he's doing his activism shut up siri um, he's doing he's, he's speaking his activism and it's coming through your speakers on your devices so even if this transitioned to mental conditioning through the devices that you we drown ourselves like it's a religion we drown ourselves in those devices so i'm going to use those very devices on you 
know what I mean? To spread my message. Fire, bro. Come on. Man. Even if it's transition to mental condition, through the devices we drown ourselves like it's religion. Everything taken the way we're raised, committing sins like it's okay to kill my own god, but not a different bitch. Mm. This is important. No, this is important. Have you have you dictating a game? Playing you see how smart it is. I've said this so many times that you need to pay attention into this. You need to pay attention to the way Easy Mill makes his music. Because it's he never just leaves a bar. If he actually has a particular verse or a particular sentence, he never just leaves that bar hanging there. So he talks about sort of drilling, uh, 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 brainwashing, and enslavement. He had that in the previous bars in the previous verses but then he carries on and plugs in where he says have you dictating the way we're raised committing sins right so dictating dictator dictators are the ones who uh, uh, um, enslave people very very clever i told you he always has a thread throughout his music throughout his verses where he's tying in stories Right, he's tying in his bars, tying in his stories, and you're gonna catch them on the ass end of another verse. You will catch the full picture. Right, it's very, very important to listen to what he does there. Raised committing sins like it's okay to kill our own kind, but not different bitch. And this is the crazy thing: is this is what you kind of happening in this world right now? The polarization in this world is crazy, and the thing is that. Politics and the media and all of that are just influencing this so heavily that they're trying to polarize people against each other. They're trying to polarize people to hate each other, to kill each other, to not like, what the fuck are you going on about? You people are people. You've got blood, you got skin. I don't give a fuck what color it is. Why are you fighting with each other? Your own brothers and sisters, you are dictating... You're being dictated to, you're being dictated to, a like a narrative is being pumped into your head by these people that just want to create a division. They want to create a division because don't forget, division makes money. Don't forget, division sells. Division gets clicks. Division gets the drama running. You get those, those uh, um, um, headlines that people are going to click on. What? What did these ones do? What did this one do? What did Trump say? What did this one do? This is the problem is that they're trying to create the division because division makes money. And if you allow them to do that, right, it kind of, you start realizing that if you literally, like, it's, it's, it's that saying that says, give a man a hand and he'll take his, your whole fucking arm, right? Because if you give in to that type of shit, very much like sort of cancel culture as well, if you give in to that type of garbage, right, you're going to eventually have the whole system, right, being changed and then people being indoctrinated like that right and then you're fighting against an even bigger and even greater beast and the more the system changes the more money that they are making essentially because it's consistently creating drama and then you need the people like easy mill people like this who are wise enough who introspect who are aware enough to stand out of that system and to say i do not follow this I do not follow the way the system is. I do not follow the stereotypes. I do not follow the racism. I do not follow. I'm not part of this fucking system. I'm going to speak out against this bullshit that's currently happening. Right? That is what an artist is. That's true artistry. Let's go, man. Look at that. Some children woke up and grew I'm sorry, guys, we're pausing. You know this is how it works, man. We pause. Some children woke up and grew up in the environment that treats their people as if they were being dumped. Now he's obviously speaking in uh, Filipino, right? Exactly. That's exactly the environments that people are creating. Look around the world. Look at what's happening around the world right now, right? It's, it's very easy to divide uh, people who are desperate because people who are desperate are going to fight against anybody to feed themselves they use that desperation napoleon actually had a saying that said if you ever lose the pop the populace's ear you best have bread right it's either you can feed them or you can tell them what you want them to hear right and right now we're in that stage where we giving them we're giving them that propaganda and eventually that'll fade because people are going to fight against each other and people are not going to be able to feed themselves. And then they're going to come off their fucking bread. And if you don't have bread, that's where systems fall. That's where revolutions uh, uh, um, begin. You know what I mean?
They know this. Every moment, even when walking, jumping will be handed over to the police. Where, where is the freedom? The coffin cannot be dug, and this is just not. And I'm, 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 I'm saying that he is basically speaking with regards to his country. But take a look around, man. Take a look at the U.S. Right? There are system, like there are there are uh, um, social uh, um, um, issues in the U.S. where a large portion of the population feel the same way, essentially. So he's speaking on real facts over here. Let's go. <laughs> Do I, do I just, uh, am I just going to keep repeating my footsteps every single year? Am I going to follow the same fucking trail? It's very, very clever the way he said that. Do, am I going to follow the same footsteps? So I'm going to leave this trail. And then Einstein had a saying. So Einstein's saying was like the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and again and again and expecting a different result. So I'm, I'm going to lay these tracks. I'm going to go down a, sing, a particular path and this path isn't working for me. Change it. Change it. Because a lot of people tend to like, why isn't this working? And they go down that path again. And But why isn't this working? And they go down that path again. Change up. Change up. If something is not working, try something different. I don't ever, ever accept anybody coming to me and say, I did everything I could and there was no way to do it. Bullshit. You never, ever, ever did everything you could. Absolute garbage. There is so many possibilities. There's an infinite amount of possibilities to solve a situation. You did everything you good within the limitations of your mind. Expand your fucking mind and you will realize all of a sudden you'll have a lot more options and a lot more pathways. It's very clever what he said there, right? Do I just keep repeating my footsteps every year? No, Einstein would dictate that you're stupid to do that. So no, don't do that. My perfect expected explosion um, is the volcano here named Mayon. Didn't know that. Didn't know there was a volcano there. And then obviously he's playing on his him blowing up and the volcano blowing up. Very clever. Mayan, I didn't know there was a volcano called Mayan in the Philippines. Sacrifice everything just to get it. I kind of feel like he's maybe playing maybe into a myth of regards because there's a lot of myths where um, people get sacrificed into volcanoes. Like volcanoes are a god. I'm not sure if he's playing on a myth that's maybe or like a an old sort of story or uh, you know an old legend uh, where they speak that you give like a sacrifice to the volcano I'm not sure um, there are still people who is ready to kill just to get a taste of Hammond the dish here in the Philippines called Hamando what's Hamando man now I need to know what Hamando is what's Hamando people put in the comment down below man what's Hamando I love food I'm a big foodie man I've worked with food my entire life. I absolutely adore food. I do, I do a lot of dishes. I might actually make a video of me making a couple of dishes down the line. But what is hamondo, ham, hamonado? Hamonado, what is that? I need somebody to tell me what that is. around me are desperate to reduce complaints right they just reduced to complaints grinding horses i actually got that bar as a metaphor before i even read that line right saying just like a, a horse works harder horsepower you know what i mean so basically when they say um, um especially in the business world where they say no that, that that employee is a workhorse so i actually got that line before i even read the metaphor line so like work harder horses work hard you know what i mean Horses and donkeys, but not the donkeys with the tattoos and the colored hair. Those guys don't work hard. Those guys are just stupid. But let's just go back. So when the calendar drips on the 30th, we will not have to worry. Okay, so basically, Filipino salaries get paid on the 30th. So basically saying that when you get your, your 30th... So kind of playing into that security, you break your fucking back like a horse, right? Just to get your small little pittance so that you don't worry, so that you're a little bit secure, but you're still living a shitty fucking life, right? Nobody's chasing their fucking dreams because everybody's basically trying to make a living. So you, no one's actually living a life. Everyone's just trying to make the living. 
Know what I mean? So I like what he's saying, they're very cool. <laughs> That's how the game goes. Don't you notice? We all notice. <laughs> they're all eating us slowly. We ourselves, same races, often have conflict with each other. And this goes back. This goes back into the histories consistently races against races against races against each other if you even look at rwanda the hutis and the tutsis that was all politically driven right beautiful people beautiful uh, um cultures on both sides and all because of a slight difference in culture right a slight uh, 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 difference in beliefs a slight difference in narratives you have the political parties playing them up against each other to the point that they were slaughtering each other on commands why? Whose fucking argument is that? When somebody sits there and tells you that no, you must do it for this, even down to religion, right? And I'm not, I'm not bashing religion. I will say this and I'll say this again and again and again. Whatever believe it, whatever, whatever the best religion in the world is whatever you believe in, whatever brings you comfort is the best religion in the world. But down to religion, religion has always been used as a major driving force for conflict. All around the world, more people have died in the name of religion um, than anybody, than anyone else, than any other war in the world, right? Religion has been a major, major factor of a lot of deaths in the world because they take people's beliefs, which is a, 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 an ideology that people stick to so heavily, and they say, you've got this, that one's got that, these people are a threat to you. And this is what politicians do. This is what leaders do. It's very, very, very important to remember what leaders you are picking into office. These are people that you're picking to actually represent you. These are people that you're picking for a, a, a particular purpose, right? You can't sit there and say the way we pick leaders today, saying, oh, he's brash. So I like what he's saying. You're going to pick him. No, nobody is going. Nobody in the corporate world would ever pick an employee based on what they say. They pick them on their experience. They pick them on what they know how to do. Right. And the problem is that today we're picking them on. Oh, he's a nice guy. He's brash. I like him. What are his fucking policies? What is he going to do for you? He could very much. He could very much commit a fucking civil war in your fucking country. And the problem is that we are being diluted. Our intelligence, our our rationality is consistently being by diluted by these people because if they have the educated voter, it does not suit them. They need the uneducated voter. They need the voter that is going to cause the controversy. So it's very, very important on how you pick your fucking leaders because they're going to eat you fucking alive. And we've seen this again and again and again and again in history. And people consistently fall for that. So it's important for people like this, artists like this, to come out and spread that message to say, don't trust these people. Don't trust the fucking media. Don't trust politicians. If you think that politicians and leaders that are sitting in these high powers are there for, because they, they really give a fuck about the people, you are so utterly deluded. So utterly deluded. Right? A politician, the only politician you can trust is a politician that is at the bottom of a sea. The bottom of the sea. If you put a politician in the bottom of the sea, then you can trust him. Right? That's what I'm saying. It's just don't trust politicians. They're out for their own thing. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Always representing his country, man. Shout out to his people. Shout out to he actually mentioned the town over there. I'm assuming that's the town. Uh Mindanao now. Is that the twin the two the, the twenty two double zero? Is that the area code of that particular area? Put it down in the comments section. Um I'm assuming that it is. Anyway, let's go. So all my people up in Mindanao, missing on the sums of winner city will be around. For urban root of two, where it began, a part of Kiko Magalo, the three stars in the sun. Mm, you see, this is what I love about it. All about knowledge. All about. No, I'm sorry. I'm pausing. I'm sorry. If you guys are tired, click off. Click off. Click off. Click off. I don't want you guys to get irritated, right? So I want to show to the others our knowledge gap, right? 
So for all of you people that you think that, you know, that we're, we're, we're down here, that we're not educated people, I'm going to show you the knowledge gap. I'm going to show you how much more advanced and how much more intellectual we are than you. And the Filipinos had reached with our own proficiency, our own home proficiency, our own home knowledge, our own homegrown people, right? I'm going to show you how intelligent these people are. And I promise you, if Easy Mill is a reflection of the Filipino intelligence, you guys are fucking rocket scientists. Okay, because that's a, this man is a fucking genius. Genuinely, I love the fact that he said that. Let's go, man. Mm, even if we are sometimes humbled, I love that. Even if sometimes we lowered our head, which means we're humbled, right? Right, so it's a typical uh, sort of stance of humble when you're speaking specifically to an adult, which the Filipino people are very, very respectful. If you look at the comments, man, look at the way, like they look at the way they come into the comments and look at the just. I am blown away, completely enamored by these people because they come into the comments, man, and they treat you with such dignity, with such respect. You know what I mean? Uh, love you, love to you, love to the family. Um, um, professor, this and this and that. It's just the way, the, the respect you have for your fellow people, for your fellow man, man. And it's in the hundreds and thousands of comments, man. Hundreds of thousands of comments that are just so damn respectful. I just feel they're consistently so humbled that they actually make you feel humbled. I'm actually humbled by the way they are so humble. You know what I mean? You guys are crazy humble, man. The way you guys come into this comment section is absolutely insane, man. Really, really beautiful people, I must be honest. Beautiful, beautiful people. I couldn't read that fast enough. Your subsequent erasures uh, uh, are automatic. Erasures? Is that a typo? Wait a second. Wait a second, DZ Mold. You might have caught me on that one. I don't know what that word means. Well, let's just learn. Let's just learn. Erasure. The removal of writing, recorded material, or data. Your subsequent removal of writing are automatic oh so you're, it's almost like cancel culture oh, okay very clever your subsequent ah oh, fucking this oaks vocabulary though is pretty insane man i didn't know that and i'm usually very good with words you got me there you got me there erasures are automatic right so your cancelling of shit your removal of data your removal of uh, our content is automatic it's like you just you don't want us to blow up is there no other gonna equal, is there no no one else that's gonna equal to me at least even half right at least even half even be as half as good as me nope nope unfortunately um, they they remove all their powers when they tattoo little squiggles on their face so when they're squiggly on their face you tend to realize ah uh, yeah nope. Nope, these guys are sharp as marbles, man. King RB. King RB. That song is fucking fire. There is no doubt about me being a fucking king. Just be careful while queuing on who's gonna suck on my dick next. Ooh. Sorry guys, we're pausing. I'm your God dressed as an angel which will take you to the underworld. It's crazy how he's flipped that. So I am your God who is an angel. So I'm your God who's an angel up there, but I'm going to take you to the underworld. So he himself is almost admitting to the fact that he's also a sinner. Saying, I'm an angel, sure, I'm going to come and save you, but I'm going to take you to my underworld. I'm going to take you to my space where I have sinned as well, right? Meaning, I'm going to show you the real me. I'm not going to just show you the godliness of me. Because any god, any leader, any person that is trying to uh, uh, um, sort of drive a generation is going to show his cracks is going to show that he also has dark sides so i am a god i am an angel which is going to take you to my underworld i'm going to show you the skeletons in my closet very fucking cool clever 
Kasi kaya walang pipigil sa aking mapalapis So bakit mo mapupod kung doble kara kung mahangin Even if my pencil on my wings worn out Oh my god, that's fucking fire Even if my pencil or my wings are worn out That's fucking fire, dig that Transition I've been telling all your I've been telling all your Stay well with me I'm with you, bro. You need to be. Let's go. Not where you want to be. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe I can take you to both. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 you're going fast, bro. You're going fast, you're going fast. Let's try to calm down. You will not find any art dated from us. Every release was a gift of Judas. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, okay. So obviously he's uh collecting his uh, 30 pieces of silver. Uh, release like every bars was was spitting. Very, very cool. Mm, wait a second, wait a second. You will, uh, you will got us to some typos in here. So you will get a puncture wound when we straight, when we straight our bars. Okay, so there's obviously there's there's some things straight our bars to your head. Okay, so when we target our bars to your head, we sing shot every time we spit bars. We are immortal. Okay, I love that. Take a fuck I love the fact that he's playing on like the puncture and then the bars and the way he's playing this is almost like it's a vehicle that we're going somewhere, right? So just take a look at the way he's played with this. A data from Arthur release a gift of Jesus. Right? So got puncture wounds and we straight bars to your head. We slingshot every time. Oh my god, straight bars to your head. Guys, I keep forgetting. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. We are immortal. Think about it. Straight, okay, so it's straight slingshot to your head. David and Goliath. So obviously these he's now playing on the whole biblical term. It's talking about God. He's so first he spoke about God in terms of how his God is going to take you to the underworld. Then he goes and refers to himself as Judas, right? So sort of going and like uh, uh, backstabbing the industry for his pound of flesh or his silver, whatever, right? We will get a puncture. Okay, so we got puncture wound when you, you'll get a puncture wound when we hit our bars straight to your head. Think about David and Goliath, which is a biblical thing. The small guy, right? David it was the smaller guy with just a slingshot, right? He killed Goliath with a, 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 a rock and a slingshot, right? Every time we spit bars, every time we spit bars, it's like David and Goliath without even saying David and Goliath. That's pretty crazy. Okay, this is turning into like a whole lesson over here. So I apologize. This is going to be a long one. Mm, take a fucking time to loosen a few screws. I love the fact that he's playing with the puncture, and I told you he's always got that thread. You know, he talks about puncture, and then he talks about loo a few screws loose. So a few screws loose in your head, a few screws loose on the tire that you got to unscrew to get, like you know, when your tire gets a puncture. I told you he always ties in, right? Toying with you puppies to fetch shit with blue, blue clues, blues clues. Oh, okay, cool. I get that. So obviously a genre of music. We geeking when your soul is leaving. I'm a demon and you're a little heathen. And I love the way he they've spelled little, little pump, little Zan, little, little. Uh, it seems like all the mumble raps are all little. They're all little something. Yeah, they're all little idiots. That's what they are. And you're a little heathen, impatient for the motherfucking day you ain't breathing, right? Where we actually take your breath away, we actually fucking kill you once and for good, man, because you're destroying the industry. Okay, so breathe well as long as you still have time to humble yourself. So you're not going to be alive for too long, right? But I'll let you, I will give you time to humble yourself. I'll give you the space, I'll give you the distance, right? Because when I come up, I'm coming with a punch straight to your jaw. And that is that, right? It's over. I am now here and you guys die with that. I love the fact that he's tied the biblical into this. It's actually, the bars on this is crazy. <laughs> Oh 
my God, motherfuckers, again, playing into the biblical motherfuckers, you're still alive. But I don't think it's a locust gun. Now think about actually there were, um, um, I think it was the seven plagues. It must have been the seven plagues. It was blood, the death of newborn babies, uh, of the firstborn baby. It was um, um, locusts. It was, there were seven plagues in the Bible that God plagued the world with, right? Um, and then it looks like I need to make sure that you're shooting uh, precise so you die, right? So this isn't a locust gun. This isn't one of the plagues, right? That come, oh, this is he's so brilliant in the way that he's tying in the biblical references into this. It's actually pretty fucking insane. This isn't a locust gun. But I don't, oh, it's crazy. Uh, locust was one of the plagues, one of the seven plagues. God, just spitting over here. The trigger out of every bullet uh, that if it explodes, it can be compared to a star and just don't think about that. That's fucking fire, right? So every time I shoot, basically he's saying the trigger out of every bullet. So when a bullet fires, it can be compared to a star, right? So think about gun and think about star, shooting star. And when you think about a shooting star, shooting star as in I'm a shooting star, I'm a rising star, I'm going up to fame, a shooting star across the sky, right? In terms of its speed and its light and how, you know, sort of like beautiful and rare that is. And then also in, term, rare in terms of seeing it, right? And then obviously... Uh, um, um, just with regards to you think it's like an exploding star um, sort of saying that when a bullet actually pops that bah, with the gunpowder that sort of reaction when a, when a star explodes essentially I like that it's very cool that was like a double triple fucking entendre there fucking fire I'm no bitch, but I'm motherfucking ratchet. That's it. That's it. That's just about. That's the gist of it, motherfuckers. That's just the gist of it. Let's go. Take me home. Take me home to my For his people, you can just feel the passion for his music, you can feel the passion for his country. Come on, if travel calls, I will cause get up to open the door of peace as if life itself is broken. Hey, this track was fire, man. I'm very glad we did the lyrical video. Very, very, very glad. Whoever actually Whoever actually suggested for me to do that and sent me this link, please put your, please let me know down in the comments so I can actually pin it. Because um, I wanted to know, there was a lot that was said in Filipino that I needed to know. And if I had done the original without the, the, the actual lyrics, that would have upset me because this was very, very powerful, very, very clever. The way he played with it was insane. So I apologize, this video is probably 77 hours long, but uh, hey, it is what it is, man. I love you all, man. Please stay safe, please stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.